Do you regularly fight spam and chaos in your Gmail inbox? Stay tuned and watch this video on the power of Gmail filters. Hello, my name is Warren from CompuMatter and today I'll be showing you a really nice trick to use if you use the browser version of Gmail or Google Mail. In this example, I have some emails that may be coming in from a sender that you'd either want to filter into a label or a folder, or if you just want to filter out some spam related emails that you've tried already to unsubscribe from, but they just won't go away. This is another useful trick with that. So the first step is going up here to the top and clicking on the settings gear. And then there's the see all settings button. All right, from here, there's a bunch of tabs up at the top. The one we're going to need is the filters and blocked addresses button. And then right here, there's a create a new filter. So say I was getting an email from a specific sender over and over that I wanted to block. I could put that in here just as an example and make a simple filter just for this one email address. The more complicated you make one filter, the harder it is to always be accurate. So I tend to just do one in here and then I can hit the create filter button. You can also use, use this tool to search. So if I create a filter based on that email address sender, I can apply it a label by checking this box here and then hitting the choose label. I currently have two created that I can use or I can make a brand new one. If it was a spammer, maybe I'd like to send it to spam or delete it in this case, or never mark it as important. This button would never send it to spam. So if you had somebody constantly trying to send you email that was from your company and it kept going to the spam folder on accident, this might help that. And so in this case, I'm going to apply a label and make a new label just for test purposes and call it spam. Ah, it won't let me call it just spam, so I'll call it spam emails. And then from there, I can hit the create filter button. So what this does is any email that is sent from this email address will be applied the label spam emails and it will go in here. But if you, if it was actually spam, you'd probably want to just delete it. This gives you the ability to view them though, before it goes there. I'm going to delete this example and then do another one based off of the subject line, which is arguably a bit more important for these recurring things as most of these spam email addresses can have multiple different senders. So if you notice a recurring subject line, for example, the dash download now is in both of these, what you can do is you can do the same method of going to your settings, see all settings, filters and blocked addresses, create a new filter and then I'm going to put in the subject line here I'm making a filter based off of this text here so anytime I get an email in with the subject line that contains download now with two exclamation points it will filter it out wherever I'd like it to go So I can make it the label go to spam emails, for example, and create the filter. And when I do that, it shows up in this list here and you can go in and edit it or change it in the future. I would recommend being very careful with your wording here, because if you were to make it just one word, for example, download, anytime someone said the word download in their subject line, it would be sent to wherever you'd like it to go or deleted if you choose it to be deleted. So just be cautious of the wording. So these pre-existing ones you'd have to delete manually or find another way to get rid of them. But I just sent myself another test email that gets marked as a spam email here. That filter went through and it marked it as the spam email filter. Now what I could have done is I could go in and change that to just delete the email in the future so that that doesn't come through. But the point of this is just you have so much freedom with this sort of method on what you can do with emails and help build yourself a better inbox that is cleaner or make things organized. 
If you have any questions on using this tool, feel free to leave a comment down below or give us a call if you need help setting anything like this up. This is also another thing you can check if you had an incident where your email account was ever hacked into or the password was stolen. If your emails were being automatically deleted or something seems to be wrong, you can actually check and make sure that there's no weird filters in this area that could be causing the problem too. Thank you so much for watching and take care.